Hey guys, so, Merry Christmas! <laughs> hope you guys are having an amazing holiday. Uh, if, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you're still enjoying the festivities in some way. I hope you're still enjoying the winter months and I hope you're just doing okay. <laughs> background we're trying something new out in the garage so everything's a little bit all over the place but hey that's just Christmas in general right so things have been a bit hectic so I thought we'd just chill out and I'm gonna do another top five list this time it's my top five Christmas movies because clearly I am in the festive spirit right now <laughs> so, I don't know there's something about Christmas movies that even if are the biggest fan of them if you're not a festive Christmassy person there's just still something nice about having them on in the background and hearing the music and yeah even though like the Hallmark movies are the same blinking movie over and over and over again this year in the past couple of years Vanessa Hudgens she's been really raking them in but you know what I mean there's just something warm and fuzzy about a cheesy Christmas movie that you know how it's gonna end but you watch them anyway because tis the season. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna have some fun and go over my top five Christmas movies. Here we go. <laughs> so number five on my list is an oldie, but I love it with all my heart and it makes me cry every single time. And that is, it's a wonderful life. Um, it's been kind of relevant this year because I have struggled a lot this year with my mental health. It has been the first year where I've actually spoken to a therapist, um, both in person and on the phone. Um, I haven't been on antidepressants, but I was offered them, but I wanted to try the therapy first. That seemed to work really well. But it was just this really dark time where I was like, I just kind of wish I'd never really been put here and it was a really dark time but then that's also what happens to the main character in It's a Wonderful Life. He wishes that he was never been born and suddenly he gets to see what his life was like and it's realising the importance of you know, the, the, the importance one person can bring and how much they matter to people and it makes me cry every single time it's you know especially when it's like all in black and white as well you've just got this very old-timey feel where you can just cozy up and because of the black and whites it also makes you feel a little bit cozy and a little bit chilly because it sort of represents the colder winter atmosphere as well and I don't know what it is about this film but I absolutely adore it I love how classic it is I love how heartfelt it is I love how genuine it is and it is a slow burn movie. It does take a while for everything to get moving because you do have to go through the main character's entire life before you can get to this major point, which is kind of where the whole movie is supposed to begin. In it, first thing, if anyone actually remade It's a Wonderful Life, he would be making that wish within the first 20 minutes and then we would have an hour and a half of him wandering around in this alternate timeline of him learning this lesson and it's just kind of that's not the point that is not the point of the movie we're not here to watch him have alternate timeline hijinks or whatever we're here to see him and his life and how much he means to people it's just such a good film if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it it is a slow burn it's not for everybody it is very classic old-timey but it, it's sweet it's heartfelt and it has such a great Christmas message and I absolutely adore it and it makes you cry every single year. My fourth one is a bit controversial because no one knows if it's supposed to be a Christmas movie or if it's supposed to be a spooky movie. No one has any clue, but of course it's Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> I love this film. It is one of my favourite films of all time. It's so much fun and it's just got a right balance between Halloween and Christmas and it's a little bit creepy, it's creative, it is stunning, 
it's, it took stop motion animation to a whole new level, the music is fantastic, the voice cast is fantastic, and I love that they have this Santa who isn't this stereotypical jolly guy, he is a bit of a moody grouch which you can completely understand given the situation. And yeah, it, it's such a... <laughs> it's a great movie and I love it so much. Making Christmas, making Christmas. My third favourite Christmas film is Arthur Christmas. I mean, Aardman animation, I mean, come on. But it's just the way everything is so British, but in such an over-the-top parody kind of way. Like, the Grandpa Santa, who is clearly incredibly stereotypical racist, but the way they do it with elves instead of with actual races is hilarious. The way you've got this balance between the very classic Santa, the goofy kind of Santa, and the no technology must be the new way forward kind of Santa, and then you've got the Miss, like the Mrs. Claus, who is just an absolute badass, but she just plays it off in this such calm manner, and it's just so fun. It is funny. It is heartfelt. It is so over the top Christmassy. There's just something really genuine about this film. It is a masterpiece. I don't know how they managed to get this formula down, but the series of events, which I won't ruin for you if you haven't seen it, everything just flows so well and everything just comes together in this perfect way, this perfect balance where, again, I can't give spoilers, but I can't talk about this movie enough. It's got this right level between it's a little on the childish side, but it's also got some very serious adult themes of like growing up and coming to understanding. It's just all very well done. And then you've got these characters which are so hilarious and like this elf that's obsessed with rapping but with this really amazing accent and She's so quirky, and the little eyebrow piercing was an amazing touch, and it's just got this great atmosphere to it where it's so Christmassy and so British, but it's so quirky Aardman animation fun, and I love it. If you're a fan of Wallace and Gromit, if you're a fan of Chicken Run, of that kind of humour, this is right up your alley. It's amazing. I love it. Number two, it's again a bit of a spooky one, but... It's absolutely hilarious, and that is Krampus. I don't know how this all came to be. It just covers the story of this family who are going all out in this over-the-top Christmas stress, and because of it, it summons this Christmas demon of all things that is there to pick them off one by one. But it is so funny, and something I didn't expect was some very well done practical effects which just draws you in even more. And it's this great balance between it's so Christmassy, but at the same time it's such a cliché horror, and they play it for laughs, and then you've got this amazing twist at the end which I won't ruin for you. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not your typical Christmas film. Hell, anything with horror in it isn't your typical Christmas film, but that's what I love about it. It's weird, it's unique, it's crazy, the practical effects are amazing, the characters are hilarious, and when it gets dark, it gets dark and creepy and plays on your mind, but in a way where you're just there like, I want more, but I'm so glad I'm not in this situation, and it still somehow has a Christmas message to it. <laughs> I don't know, it is insane. It is absolutely insane. And sue me, I love it. <laughs>
Yes, so it does have a story of Santa. It does have that one that you have to look at. And it's not shoving Christmas down your throat like all the Christmas ones do. It just happened to spark this legend that we all go along with every single year. And I love it so much. And it's so well done. And I would want to watch it another four times before the one is out. And yeah, those are my top five Christmas films. favorite Christmas films are. I really want to know if there's any other holiday films out there that you're in love with that sort of take part around Christmas. Let me know. I want to broaden my horizons and see as many Christmas films and holiday films in general as I can. Please let me know. Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing holiday. I hope you're enjoying every single moment of it and I hope it's you know, making you merry and light and jolly and all the rest of it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.